So let's go ahead and install Eclipse. We need to visit the Eclipse site, eclipse.org, then we just download it. So in order to make this easy for us, they've given us a whole bunch of different choices for the ID. In order to limit the download size, and because it has everything we need for doing it in Java, I'm going to download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. I'll download the 32-bit version. So let's download from here. That mirror will be fine. I will save that file. Thank you, because it's quite large. And now we wait for it to download. As normal, I will edit this to make the download faster. You can go through the pain later on. So that's the download finished. And you can see that every version of Eclipse has a name. This one's called Juno, which is very helpful when you're trying to work out whether you've got a more recent version or not, because you have to compare names and not numbers. But that's the Eclipse choice. So we are currently using Juno for this. So let me extract everything from that zip file. Okay, what I'm going to do is instead of extracting it there, because remember Windows, <laughs> for whatever reason, Windows has a is it 256 character file length, entire path length uh, limit? Even though Windows itself doesn't obey that limit, it enforces it on you. It's, it's a horribly painful thing that Windows does to us. So let's create a directory that we're going to put it in in the first place. So I, I am going to put all of my clip stuff into a folder called Eclipse here. So I'm going to extract everything into that folder. Let's see if this works. Let's see what we've got in this directory now. There we go. There's the executable. Let's run that. Yes, I want to run that. Thank you. Nice shiny logo, Eclipse Juno. So I will happily use that as the workspace at the moment. Workspace is where the project files get stored. And there is the IDE. Let's maximize this. Now this is their easy to start and helpful to understand front page where you can get an overview, etc, etc. What we really want is just to jump straight into the workbench. And there we go, that's ready for use. When we come in later and do our first test in Eclipse, you'll see this again. But for the moment, I'm just going to create a shortcut onto the desktop and that's it, Eclipse is installed.